guys and welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we're going to be talking all things how to make your makeup absolutely snatched, my daily makeup routine, the makeup tips I've learned, the skills that are going to take your makeup from regular to pro level. So the first step is going to be to color correct. This is absolutely essential if you are a woman of color, okay? We have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I have quite a bit around my mouth. When you have these areas that are a bit darker, and you just go in to conceal them or put foundation on top as normal, they'll start looking gray, even after you've done all of your makeup and put powder on and everything. And you also wanna make sure you're not using too much so it blends nicely and it won't show up through all of the makeup you're about to put on top. Whenever it comes to applying makeup under your eyes, make sure you pat it in with the brush like this, as opposed to dragging it or wiping it, because you're just gonna keep picking up all of the product on the brush and you're not actually gonna get any coverage. Perfect. So the next step is foundation. I've been using the same foundation for years. It's my holy grail, the Maybelline Fit Me. I just put that all over my face. I like quite a full coverage base and the key to achieving that without looking cakey is to do thin layers. Don't just put a bunch of makeup on your face and blend it in because it's not gonna sit right. And I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. Now I normally put this underneath my makeup. It's these Kiko Glow Fusion Drops, but I am gonna mix this in with my foundation so I want to be looking a little bit glowy today. And I use this stippling brush to just blend in everything seamlessly. All of the products I'm using and the makeup brushes are linked in the description. Basically put foundation everywhere except for your under eyes and your eye area because we're going to conceal that. There's no need to put foundation there otherwise it's just going to keep building up and it's going to look cakey once we powder everything later. And now I'm going to do one more thin layer of foundation. Now that our foundation is down, I like to go in with my cream contour next. I recently started using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand and I am obsessed. It gives you this amazing glow from within. So you want to be careful with this. I'll just put some on my cheekbones. So the key with contouring is place the contour higher than where your cheekbones actually are because when you start to blend it, the product moves down. So if you actually put it where your cheekbone is, your contour isn't going to be placed in the right place to actually lift your face. And then I dot it around my jaw, some on your forehead. I put this purely just to warm up my face and give myself that glow. And then I just buff that into the skin. Contour is an essential step to making sure that your makeup looks snatched and having that like IG baddie makeup look because you want to give your face as much dimension as possible. Now that contour is done, I'm going to go in and conceal my under eyes. I use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer as I have done for years. So with this, you don't want to bring your concealer right where your eye line is because it's all kind of going to build up there and settle into the fine lines you have right under your eyes. When you start your concealer, you want to bring it just below and when you blend it, it will naturally cover right under your eye anyway. So I also cream contour my nose, but I wait until after I've concealed my eyes because I like to bring up my concealer just to the side of, sides of my nose here. And this is a process called reverse contouring. We basically want to eliminate the shadows either side of the nose to make it appear slimmer. And I just do a little line like this. And this is going to help lift the eye. And then the key to concealer is to wait. You have to let it dry down a little bit before you blend it out so you can get maximum coverage. So while that's drying down, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. I don't fill in the entire brow. I just touch up the front and the ends just where they need it. Just to make them appear a little bit more fuller than they actually are. Another great tip with eyebrows is to draw them in a little bit closer together, as you can see I'm doing here. What this is gonna do is also create the illusion that you have a slimmer nose if that's what you're trying to achieve and give you that snatched look because when your eyebrows are close together, it brings your face in. We're gonna carve them out with concealer so you don't have to worry if you make a few mistakes here because I most definitely do. Okay, it's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna go in and blend out this concealer. Like I said before, we are going to tap this into the skin push that product in and then with the end here i don't like to blend it too much i like there to kind of be a slight line and not blend out that line completely so it disappears because it will keep that lifted look for later and 
after that, you should have a good full coverage eye where you won't need to go in with another layer of, of concealer at all. Once that's done, I'm gonna quickly cream contour my nose. Now you have to be fast with this because as soon as you put concealer on, you wanna bake it ASAP to avoid any creasing. The closer these lines are together, the smaller your nose is going to appear to be. You want to make sure they're super straight. And I also kind of draw them up into the eyebrow because we're going to blend it in to the eyebrow and the upper eyelid. So then this contour blends in with the eyeshadow and everything looks seamless. To blend my nose cream contour, I take this little eyeshadow brush, which I've been using as my nose contour brush for years now. and blend out the tip. So now we're going to quickly go in and bake and perfect all of this. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread. I'm using a beauty blender, this is from Real Techniques, and I use it dry, and this is just for baking. You wanna make sure you're looking up and making your under eye skin super tight so that you can blend powder where any creases would have settled otherwise. And then I'll just blend up in that direction that we place the concealer to just lift the eye. And then any excess that I have on my sponge, I put here on my chin and also on my forehead, my T-zone basically where things tend to get oily. And this will just mattify my makeup for longer and make it stay. The next step is I take the pointy end of this sponge and I dip it in the powder. And then this is where we're gonna carve out our contour to make sure that our nose looks perfect. So I'm just gonna go underneath where we place that contour and essentially you're just carving it out. And you're gonna take it right to the edge and blend it in with the powder that you placed underneath your eye and we're going to go underneath where we placed our cream contour i learned this step from kim kardashian herself so you're going to place it under to carve out that contour and when you brush this off it's going to give you that okay it's been two minutes so it's time to blend off this powder i just take a small little powder brush like this and i start dusting off just anywhere basically so you can powder your whole face and make sure that your makeup lasts all day. And then under the eye, I am tapping, dabbing that product into the skin once again to get the most coverage. So this is where I'm gonna emphasize that contour again. I'm going in with the Dior Backstage Contour Palette and I mix together the two bottom shades. I only take a little bit of this dark one, but mostly the lighter one. And I'm gonna to top off that contour. But the products you use for this are really important. If you use the wrong shade of a bronzer, if you use too much cream bronzer, then your face can start to look very muddy. The Benefit Hula Bronzer is another great one. And if you want a drugstore alternative, I used the Physicians Formula Bronzer for years and it was amazing. Going on top of that cream contour, anywhere that might have got removed a little bit from the baking process, Next, while we're finishing off the base, we're gonna go in with the blush. So my new obsession has been this NARS blush. It's in the shade Taj Mahal, and it's this gorgeous orange shimmery shade. It's gonna blend into that bronzer perfectly, but still give you a pop of color and so much warmth on your face, on your cheeks. I am trying to lift my face, create that snatched look. So with that, you want your blusher to be more on the edge of your face, rather than placing it on the apples of your cheek. An orange blush acts as a great base to amplify any other blush, right? So if you wanna put pink on top, then you should always start with orange. It's gonna really make your pink blush pop. Sometimes I leave this orange just on its own. Today, we're gonna to go a bit crazy and I'm gonna add in some pink. I'm using this Ciate blush in the shade Tempt Me. It's this gorgeous light pink shade and there's so much shimmer built into this that it's really gonna help me look glowy. So I take the same brush, take quite a bit of this, and then I just top a little bit where I put that orange. And then one of the last steps to our base makeup is a highlighter. Now I've been using this Kiko Water Shadow in the shade 208 for years. It is the best highlighter ever. It's actually meant to be used as an eyeshadow. I use it everywhere. It's this little guy right here. It lasts a very long time. Um, and we're gonna highlight our face before we move on to the eyes, right? So I like to start with highlighting the nose. And the way you wanna put your highlighter is in an exclamation shape. So a little dot on the edge of the nose and then you want to take a little bit more on your finger and you want to tap in a line here 
and this makes your nose appear even smaller. It makes it appear like the lines of contour you placed are actually placed closer together and that your nose bridge is tiny. Now, I double up when it comes to highlighting. I use two products, that Kiko shadow, and then I also use this. This is a highlighter from Trini London. Well worth the price. I am obsessed. I've been using it for ages. What I'm gonna do is I take a flat eyeshadow brush and I dip it in. This is the most pigmented thing ever. Really gives you that natural glow, glowy look. Okay, super natural, but also blinding. And I do a little bit on the nose where we put that powder. But I like to focus this on the eyebrows. On the inner corner of the eye. That is my favorite place to put this. So once our base is done, that is the time to spray away. I use the NYX Dewy Finish 16 hour makeup setting spray. You wanna place this about 30 centimeters from your face. As that setting spray is drying down, I'm gonna finish off the base by taking a fan brush and the highlight and just touching up those cheekbones and highlighting them. When you put down the setting spray first and then the highlight will really make that highlight pop and shimmer. You can bring up a little bit on the sides of your forehead that makes you look like you got that glow from within. Now I have a very nice like, bronzy, glowy makeup base. Now, onto the eyes. This is the thing that everybody wants to know how I do. This is my heaven. I love to play with color sometimes, but on a daily basis, I stick to this little square here and I'll dabble in these neutral shades here. And I feel like that creates the most flattering eye look. It really helps open up your eyes and make them look bigger. I am going to start with the two lightest brown shades, which is Bizu Bizu and Park Avenue. Okay, this is going to be our crease slash our transition shade. You want to place the crease shade above where your crease actually is. No one's going to notice. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. But you really want to be blending it into the brow bone area. And then that way it creates a larger eyelid base for you to put your base shade, which makes your eyelid look like it's got a bigger surface area than it actually has. Near the tailbone and blend it out. If this gets a little bit messy, don't worry. I always conceal my eyeshadow to make it look neat. Now I'm gonna take another fluffy brush. This one is more densely packed, but it's also got a longer edge. And this is gonna help us when we're creating a smoky liner. We have a little bit of black loaded up on that brush. And then you're gonna hold that straight edge down and we're gonna start blending away. Okay, and I'm just gonna start focusing on that outer corner of the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna take another densely packed a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with that super light brown shade and just all of this, just kind of drag it in to the lid to diffuse any harsh pigment. This is literally how I do it. Okay, and then the last step is our eyelid base color. My favorite shade to dip this into is Soho. This is a really nice pale matte yellowy cream shade. There is a white in here. I feel like white looks way too harsh, so we like to stay away from that. I'll take a yellow like pale shade and then maybe I'll blend it in with this. This is you guys. This is a really light pink creamy color. And right now I'm just staying away from any of that outer corner shadow. We're just gonna dab it and start carving out that crease shape and going above where the eyelid actually is to make everything a little bit bigger. I'm gonna diffuse this light eyeshadow just a little bit. I'm not putting any eyeshadow on top of it. I'm just allowing it to blend out, just picking up any extra pigment so it doesn't look absolutely blinding. And then the last step, so now just eyeliner and mascara. I'm just going to use that liner that we did before as a little guide. Now, this is a mistake. It's gone out a little bit too much and I'm going to end up concealing this. So I'm using the pen to mark out where I want the actual eyeliner to go. And it's just going to be a really thin line. And then now we're going to go in with the inner corner liner. And this must go um, diagonally and not horizontally. And then underneath, we're gonna join this to the bottom eyelid and create almost like a right angle triangle shape. A 
Okay, now we're almost done. And the step that is going to take you from a regular makeup user to a makeup pro and having your makeup perfect is this and this. You want to create a nice sharp line. This is also going to aid in the lifting your eye. Just going to pop through some brow gel. This is a dark brown one from e.l.f. Now my lip combo has changed yet again and I'm kind of shocked at how much I love it and yet how simple it is. It's literally two products, no lipstick, no nothing, right? So it's one lip liner. This is from Morphe. It's the Sugar Pie lip liner. After this, the last step is to just top it with this gloss from Kiko, which I recently picked up and is my new obsession. The way this gloss makes your lips pop and look bigger is insane. And I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. Now the key to overlining is center all of the overlining in the middle of the lips okay focus it there don't start overlining when you get towards the corner of your lips otherwise you're gonna look like a clown okay this is magical look at that and on the top I'm gonna go in with this eyelash curler and I have been using the YSL Black Lash Clash Mascara for a few months now, obsessed. Curl those lashes to the gods. Let's cut every lash individually, especially these ones on the inner corner of the eye. Glowy, bronzy, flawless, snatched makeup. My eyes are lifted, my nose is skinny and snatched. My lips are popping. Definitely not an everyday makeup look, I am very much aware, but this is the makeup look you guys see when I'm in my Instagram pictures, when I'm filming videos on YouTube, when I want to be a bit more glam because I'm on camera all day. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next week for a new vlog. If you haven't already and you're new here, make sure you check out my main channel, it's linked in the description along with all of my other socials and info. I'll see you guys next week, thanks so much, bye!